there today wandered away from her home in the San Gabriel Mountains and ended up south of the Foothill Freeway in a neighborhood in San Dimas. NBC4's Patrick Healy is there live for us right now. Patrick, where is she at this point? Well, Colleen, I guess we should give it away. The punchline of the story, she is safe back home in the San Gabriel Mountains behind us. Uh, you know, of course, bears on occasion do wander down to the foothills, but rarely do they take a hike across San Dimas, come up to this residential neighborhood, enter this backyard, climb up this avocado tree, and hang out on a limb for the better part of the morning, literally just a few feet away from this picture window where inside the couple who live here and our invited photographer Alex Vasquez were watching from inside. Isn't it wonderful? I love the wildlife. Look between the leaves of the avocado tree and there she is, a black bear making herself comfy out on a limb right in front of the picture window in the home of Bob and Carrie Pouliot. I love it. Oh, yeah, as no, long as no, it's no there problem. and I'm here. I'm surprised, actually, because usually they're on, on the other side of the freeway. They said a responding helicopter first caught their attention when the black bear was first spotted at daybreak in this neighborhood along Gladstone Street. Possibly the same bear reported yesterday near Raging Waters, even farther south of the Foothill Freeway. L.A. Sheriff Sergeant Matthew Bodell. Typically bears aren't normally aggressive, per se, in this area. So we just really want to make sure that the community is aware and make sure it's safe. I said, oh my word, look, a coyote. And I said, well, mama, that is not a coyote. It was so big. <laughs> Deputies had already requested state fish and wildlife, and their biologist came, well, loaded for bear. They made the determination that the bear needed to be tranquilized and then transport to a safe area. Two tranquilizer darts got her to make her way down from the avocado tree in no particular hurry. And then starting to head off, she got another dose. Our units be advised, he is in the backyard of the location below us. She lay down beneath a tree, got a tag warning she's been tranquilized, and then a quick checkup. Just making sure he's okay, not overheating. All in all, excitement for the neighborhood and a successful mission. She's going back to Habitat where she belongs. Her adventure over, next stop, back in the Angeles Forest. And she did knock loose a few branches here from the avocado tree. Maybe she was frustrated it was not bearing fruit. She also left behind something else that we're not going to show you. Uh, the biologist estimates she's about two years old, a juvenile, and perhaps she was just looking for groceries to get ready for winter. Reporting live from San Dimas, Patrick Healy, NBC4 News. Of course, what Patrick couldn't show us was a squashed avocado, correct? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of those two. Yeah, about Wrong the same color, consistency. Chuck. Wrong All color. Alrighty. Okay, 26 miles.